Hi, my name is Jimmy Tewe and I'm a career specialist. Um, I'm actually based in Lagos, Nigeria, but right now I am not in Nigeria. I'm actually in Los Angeles, California. And um, you can see that, you know, right behind here, lovely scenery, right? But Nigeria, maybe we'll get there, you know, a, a couple of years. All right, but I'm actually here um, out with a couple of friends. Uh, and just about a week ago, just less than a week ago, I was at the Harvard Business School um, at the African Business Conference where I was invited as a panelist to come and speak about the topic called the hiring and motivation of middle level talent. It was excellent experience for me. Um, I had a good time, met people, both students, faculty, people came from different business schools from all over America. It was also people who came from Britain, you know, and even people that are in the corporate world. Um, but a few things happened to me personally, you know, I, I sat back after the conference to say that beyond the networking, what exactly did I learn from this conference? And I think that one word that aptly describes what exactly I learned is the word localization, all right? Now, that's a word, if you're interested, if you go online, you find that it's there, all right? But it aptly describes what I saw is as is a key competence that is required by any working professional or any business owner in the times that we live in today. You've heard about it that we live in a global village, right? That's true, but what does that mean to you? What are the implications, you know, to you? And what I want to do very quickly with this short video is to just, you know, give you an idea about it and what are the little things you can do that can help you to become localized, all right? Now, the idea about being glo I mean, localized or globalization is the concept that you can be resident in a local place, however, have a global appeal. All right, so if you're a working professional, for example, you have technical competence and all that, you're working in a certain industry, say in Nigeria, in Lagos, in Port Harcourt, or wherever, you are there, however, people that are global can actually reach out to you. So you are locally present somewhere, but you are also globally relevant. As a business owner, you want to make sure that you are not only locally relevant, all right? Yes, you might have good business, but is your business good enough so that people that are in the global sphere can actually reference you and actually, you know, want to move across to you? So, I don't want to engage you. So, what I want to, you know, talk about very quickly, right, is how can you localize? How can you, you know, maintain and local relevance and yet have a global appeal? I think that a few things, you know, would probably drive this home. During the conference, somebody, you know, um, asked the question and said, oh, why is it that people would not like to buy made in Nigerian goods? I'm not, I don't know if you'll be quite excited, you know, to buy made in Nigerian goods. Made in China currently might actually sound better than made in Nigeria. But the truth about it is this, that now made in America, all right, will probably be better than made in China. Now, the difference is really quite Quality. That is what it really is. So localization means I might be doing local stuff, but I'm doing quality local stuff such that anybody all over the world would see it, recognize it, and are willing to exchange value with you. So for example, if you're working professional, you're, you're in the banking industry, you are in the oil and gas industry, you're even in the fashion industry, can somebody from China come and engage you and they're able to relate with you? Or is all you do so local? Uh, I mean, in Nigeria, for example, I saw an advert recently of some stew, really local stew, but well packaged for global market, and that's what they call localization. In a world where we have over 7 billion customers, all right, it's important that you are able to have your competitive advantage, and I think that one of the key things that makes for an advantage at this time is localization. So, what are you going to do about this? I want you to sit back and look at what it is you do, all right? Are you appealing only to your local environment or are you appealing also to global environment? Beyond that, are you also looking at your local realities, all right, such that you are bringing a global feel into your local realities? So for example, if what you do is photography, for example, all right, are you engaging those that are in the global sphere and now translating it such that the local content you have becomes relevant even to a global market, all right? So if I go on your website, all right, is somebody in, 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 in Hong Kong, are they interested in what it is you are doing? And they are saying this is truly African, all right, because they can also recognize quality where that is concerned. As a working professional, when you go for a meeting, so in your finance and you meet somebody at um, Goldman Sachs, for example, are they going to be able to say, well, well this person might be based in Nigeria, but the truth about it is, is this, that they also have a global understanding, know what are the trends, what is going on, what are the implications uh, on the local market. It is important you have this as a competitor. Let me say this to you, even for you as an individual, localization is something that you can no longer, you know, you know, kick out of the picture. You have to be relevant when it comes to this area. So what are the things you can do, again, as a wrap up, right? Remember, number one is that I think that you need to begin to expose yourself. The concept about being global is the fact that there's a world beyond where you are and the fact that you need to actually begin to become very aware. So tell me, for example, you don't listen to the news. You don't know what is going on in your industry, in your field, in your business area. 
the truth about this is they are becoming very local and you are missing out on the global and also i mean sometimes you know what is global can sound like theory all right i mean people have said at the conference oh i want to come to nigeria to do business but doing business in nigeria is a totally different ball game and that's the re the challenge that they have the global understanding they understand the theories that have worked in russia in america but localization is the adaptation of that knowledge all right to that local environment so it's a blend of the two and it's important that you are able to utilize this in whatever you do so my charge to you today as wrap this up is this that don't remain local be global but be localized all right my name is jimmy terry you can follow me on twitter at jimmy terry that is j-i-m-i-t-e-w-e -E, instagram facebook everywhere linkedin that's olu jimmy terry all right but please stay tuned there's going to be more that will come from this all right have a good day god bless you bye